My name is Andre Jordan, and today I wanted to convey a message to anybody who's searching and still trying to figure out or redefine their purpose and mission in life. And to start the video off, I'm going to quote something that I had written down. And the quote says, to become a better human being, we need to take consistent, measurable progress towards an emotionally compelling goal. Something that pulls you to take action and pour as much energy as possible into. Perspective is everything. Things happen to all of us, but the meaning that we give to those experiences will define our outcome and expose who you really are. So, I wanna give you guys a little bit of my background and my story and how I came to this conclusion of my own perspective on life and how I feel about what life has to offer and what I bring to the table. So my story starts off when I'm 17 and a half and I had just finished high school and I had no set direction in life and didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I just know that I needed to have some kind of motive or some direction or drive uh, for me because I was very sedentary. I didn't know what I wanted, you know, just like most of us are when we finish high school. And at this point, I wasn't ready to be uh, enrolled in college because I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I was, I wasn't ready to commit to something like college. And if we fast forward about a year and, and some change later, I walk into a boxing gym. And this little, to my knowledge, would be finally the answer that I was searching for. My sole mission and purpose for living. And when I say that, I really mean it. I put everything that I had into boxing. There was not much that I could have done more to be a better fighter. And uh, I'm very proud of the work that I had put in. And I believe that what had driven me to put so much effort into boxing was just the sense of fulfillment that I had for it, uh, the confidence that it gave me. And I had finally become recognized. And before I'd started boxing, I had zero confidence. And some people have an ego issue, but I was on the opposite end of the spectrum. I had no ego, and if I would have had some, then it probably would have been better for me. Uh, I was somebody who, who didn't really believe in himself very much and didn't know what I wanted. So when I had finally found boxing it, it gave me some confidence and... Uh, put me on a path to find and uh, become a better person. You know? So, I'm boxing at 18 and a half years old, going on 19. Um, if we fast forward to 2017, I've been boxing for uh, four, going on five years. And at this point, I'm on top of the world. Uh, everybody that I know respects me for my skill in the gym because I put in the work to uh, demand that respect. And I'm getting ready to go pro. Uh, I've won two Golden Glove championships at this point. I had 14 fights and life was, was amazing. Things felt great, and I knew exactly what I wanted and could see my life years down the road. I knew I had everything planned out. I knew exactly where my uh, where I was going to end up. And I had become so confident in myself that I was sparring heavyweights when I was 150 pounds. And I had been sparring heavyweights for years, uh, but one day... I got caught with a lucky punch. And that fucked 
everything up. This one event had, uh, had started a chain and a series of a downward spiral in my life. Uh, it led me to depression, suicidal thoughts, and a feeling of worthlessness because this injury that I received from this punch uh, was career ending. I had gotten two bulging discs in my neck. It's a very sensitive area, especially if you're going to be getting punched for a living. So I had I had done everything that I could do to try to get this injury uh, to heal and over the course of maybe a year, I was able to get it to where it's manageable. I had gotten one last fight, I got the, the victory, um, but the injury just, it just wasn't going anywhere. Uh, after a while, I, it just seemed like it, it got worse and I had to hang the gloves up. So, at this point in my life, I feel like there is no reason for living because everything that I was, my whole image of myself was that I was a fighter, I was a boxer, and it was a very limited perspective. The message that I want to convey is that boxing was what I did, not who I was. At this point in my life, I'm a coach, I'm a trainer, and it was very hard to get to this point because it seemed like training other people was just like teaching somebody how to kiss my girlfriend. It's like telling them how to do something that I wanted to do. And I know that they weren't gonna be as dedicated to this as I was because this was everything to me. I didn't care what I had to do. I would throw 1,500 consecutive jabs just to perfect it in a row, back to back to back. Uh, I would work 16 hours a day, get off work, and then I'd have to go run because I have a fight coming up. I didn't care what I had to do. Uh, and I knew that the people who I was gonna train most likely weren't gonna be uh, in the same frame of mind that I was when it came to boxing. So it felt like I was being robbed of my my whole image and perspective is pretty funny and life has very strange ways because I look at life kind of like a mirror like let's say life represents the mirror if you stand in front of the mirror you're going to see things in the background so you can you can have life is going to give you a perspective. Now, if you move a little bit closer to the mirror, then you can see even more things. So if you move closer to life, then you'll have an even greater perspective. Now, if you take the same mirror and move that away from you, will you see more things? Yes. But it's a really shitty perspective because you're still in the same spot and life has moved on. So, over the course of, I think it's, it's been like two years uh, since I've been dealing with this injury and uh, the way that I had overcome my depression was by going to counseling uh, and talking about it. I, you, you, have to, you have to feel it to heal it, right? You gotta just experience all these things because life is gonna throw you some curveballs. But you can either roll with it or be rolled on by it. There's a there's a little story that a a philosopher named Jim Rohn I gave, and I really like this story because it's it's uh, really eye opening. 
who he says, there's two salesmen and it's a very rainy day. Both salesmen look out the window. One salesman says, wow, with a storm like this, you can't expect anybody to go out and make sales. So he stays home. The other salesman looks out the window and says, wow, with a storm like this, it's a great day to go out and make sales. Everybody's gonna be home, especially the other salesmen. That just opened up so many doors for me. Um, if you haven't heard of Jim Rohn, check him out. He's uh, a great philosopher and has been a, a life coach for me. Um, so I wanted to touch on how I feel about coaching now. Uh, I'm, I'm in a leadership position. I'm in a point where people look to me for guidance on how to make decisions to enhance their life, uh, potentially change their whole dynamic for how they live their lives and reaching their goals. I'm here to help other people reach their goals. And this has given me such a fulfilling sensation. I, I can't express it any other way. Helping other people makes you feel better. The Bible says, he who serves the many will be among the greats. And I can understand why now. So, my advice for anybody who is searching for their mission in life is to find something that is emotionally compelling, gives them a, a sense of uh, fulfillment, but not only for themselves, but helps everybody else involved. Thank you guys for watching the video. Love y'all. Have a good day.